Hi there, it's Pam from Fluent at Fitness UK and Fit Mums and Bumps here. I'm just running through some basic background on the thyroid gland, um, which is the gland that helps to regulate our metabolism. So just a little bit of background information on this, or basics. Um, it's, fi it's found in the, the throat and um, it regulates your metabolism. So if we need the metabolism to speed up, it goes into high energy mode. And then if we, which uses up more of your um, of your calories, more of your energy. And if we want to slow down, it goes into um, energy conservation. So we're, <laughs> I've got a friend to, with me today. Um, so then we are using less energy and it, it um, encourages fat storage. So low thyroid function, which is referred to as hypothyroidism, can manifest itself in feelings like exhaustion, anxiety, that kind of general sluggish feeling. Uh, we find it difficult to lose weight with a constipation. Uh, we feel sensitive to the cold, depression, muscle cramps, dry skin, a lot of things that, that tend to kind of slow the body down, which is um, when we're discussing all the hormones this is what we're kind of focusing on. You do get high thyroid function, which is hyperthyroidism, and manifests itself as kind of nervousness, irritability, hyperactivity, mood swings, difficulty sleeping, exhaustion, um, sensitive to heat, muscle weakness, diarrhea, and weight loss. But for um, us, we're, we're generally talking about the hypothyroidism because a lot of women feel the the symptoms that are with that most when, they, when they're talking about hormone imbalance. The thyroid hormones do rely on cortisol. So if you've not um, heard anything about cortisol, your stress hormone, go back to the, the other previous video that I've done on that. It does rely on it to become active, but like everything else, a little bit too much of things can have a more negative effect on it. So um, it can affect the conversion rate. So your thyroid hormones are produced that are inactive and then you need selenium um, to activate the the thyroid hormone into a more active form. So selenium is a good thing to keep in to improve, include, sorry, not improve, include in your diet. Something as simple as three to four Brazil nuts help with that each day. I have them every day. Um, when the cortisol levels are elevated too long, it what makes our body want to conserve energy in case we're in a stressful situation that we need to use that energy. So it results in the thyroid function, getting depressed and the metabolism slowing down. And that's where, um, that's why stress can have such an impact on your thyroid function. The slow, um, poor circulation, slow circulation impairs nutrient delivery to the thyroid. So um, it reduces its function and its effectiveness as well. So good circulation, i.e. exercising, um, will help to will help to encourage that as well. Um, exercise also helps to increase your metabolism by increasing the muscle ratio or the, the ratio of your lean body mass as opposed to your fat mass. So you'll burn more calories at rest and more muscle that you that you have as well. So it's a, another point of what it, why exercise is, is, um, is important. Yes, I know I'm nearly finished. I'm just getting impatient. Uh, a lot of symptoms are a, a lot of symptoms of the the low thyroid function are associated with perimenopause, um, and it can be quite difficult to. Yes, I know. I'll show you this hummus covered face in a minute. Um, it can be quite difficult to specify whether it's thyroid function or if it's perimenopause that, that we are in. So keep that in mind. Um, and an underlying thyroid dysfunction can accelerate menopause to bring that on board just a little bit quicker. When you're talking about getting your thyroid tested, quite often at the GP we only get certain things tested. So it might be a good idea to go a little bit deeper and to get your um, T3, T4, reverse T3, reverse T4 and the antibodies that are in your... Um, in your thyroid at that point as well because if there's antibodies present then that's probably indicating that there's a there's some sort of infection or something not infection as such but something is is not quite right when there's when there's antibodies there tsh thyroid stimulating hormone is something else that your doctor should test for sometimes that's the only thing that's tested and it's shown that it's within a normal range but going a wee bit deeper to check a full thyroid panel is what you want to ask for when you're getting these tested all right so that's us for thyroid function today. Mr. 
Nathan Hummus covered face and I will love you and leave you. Hopefully that's been um, of interest and any feedback would be fantastic. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.